Guys, we are here. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. We are staying at the Homewood Suites by Hilton, right? Yeah. Yes. Check out the beautiful fountain behind us. Oh yeah. This is our room. Breathe it in. <laughs> yep. We're staying out here. We're camping in the fountain. We are staying at the Homewood Suites over here off International Drive a little bit. I'll tell you what, we have already been up in the room and it is fantastic. Jess, yeah, it's amazing. you picked a winner. What do you see inside here? It is full Disney in here, guys. I am not kidding. Just, just wait. Oh, okay. as soon as you walk in here, you're greeted with Christmas lights. <laughs> Giant ones. <laughs> Wonderful hotel. Oh, yeah. Mess with your laptop or... That's awesome. And you're greeted with some coffee and tea. Why don't you go ahead and get you some tea there. Oh, yeah. Guys, this place is this place is top notch. Oh yeah, give me a glass of that. I am I am parched. Oh. And as we come back to our left here from where the coffee was, this is the breakfast area lounge. I mean you can come in here, I guess you can just come in here and eat and watch one of the many TVs. I'm wondering if they would uh, put the Bengals game on in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is cool, guys. Check out this waffle. There's something special about this waffle iron here. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I was really surprised on how Disney-fied this hotel is here. I mean, it is awesome. I love the... I love the theming. What is it? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, they have part of the door open. So yeah, I guess, yeah. So you would come in here, I guess, and get your breakfast. We're gonna, we'll show you that in the morning because we're gonna be pretty hungry. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. So, uh, I'm just gonna go show the Star Wars, oops. Spoiler alert, <laughs> there's Star Wars stuff. I wish we had one of these in our living room. I could stare at this for hours. But when Jess booked this room, this is what sold me. They're all about Disney, guys. All about Star Wars, BB-8. Beep bop boop bop bop. Now here's something cool here too. They show you broken down like the different options on how you can build droids at Galaxy's Edge. That is pretty awesome. Also, Jess just pointed out here that they have a little, you know, not much, but if, if you need a quick snack, got some Pringles. Oh, look at that, yeah. Got microwave meals, little ice creams, juices, all kinds of stuff. And, and we may have to get some of this detergent here later. Got little children's books, some other medicines. One thing, there is a CVS, which is right across the street too. So if you forgot anything, it is really close. Got some brochures. Yeah, I got a Chinese menu. Hey, who's that in your hand there? Uh-oh. Past the coffee here, heading back toward the elevators. They got an ATM machine here in case you need cash. A lot of brochures for a lot of things going on. Uh, there is a Titanic exhibit that my uh, uncle was telling me about. Don't know if we're going to be able to get around to that this trip. But I wanted to show you. I got some Toy Story. Toy Story Land. Decor. Yeah, here's something we were talking about earlier. So if you have a water bottle, you can refill your water bottle here. Uh, which is a, it's got a water purifier thing built inside it. So that's pretty awesome. The hallways are really wide and big to where like if you have a wheelchair or if you're pushing a stroller or if you have a scooter or any of that stuff, it seems like everything's pretty 
easy yeah, to get around in here. Yeah. And the elevators are huge, and we'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> there it is, guys. The Star Wars elevators. Uh, you know what? Speaking of accessibility, yeah, this the is yeah. The buttons are on the uh, elevator doors, which a friend of mine was telling me one time that uh, one of the bad things about a lot of hotels is they have they'll have like a trash can, you know, because the buttons will be like right here, and they'll have a trash can there. So if if you know it's not very wheelchair friendly because you know you can't reach the button, but here they actually it seems like they've thought of that. Also, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll show you here in a minute. I want to show you this Pandora. <laughs> yes. That is pretty cool. Okay. Yes, this is. This is a really big, wide elevator. And on the first floor, right next to the elevator here, this doorway leads to the pool area. The outdoor pool. There is only one pool. Jess just pointed out there's a gym. Oh yeah. Yeah, a bunch of ellipticals. Wow, they really went all out here. Oh cool, look, there's grills over there. What? They got a big fire pit right here. Oh man, look at this. I wonder if they get that going at night. I don't know, that's cool. That is you can awesome. Buy it later on and, sit down there. and then they got over here this like yeah. What is that? I said this is off of the breakfast area right there. Oh, so there's okay. this seating area here and then this and then the grills are over there if you wanted to like bring hot dogs or whatever. Cause I mean, it's like, sure. you'll see when you see the room, but <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And we can, uh, we can use these. They don't do them. Yeah. What? Right. That is too cool. Hey guys, out by the pool area here. Got a little uh, seal. This is nice. Oh, and it's a, uh, it's zero entry here. That's very accessible. Do you see that? Yeah, zero entry. That's awesome. I almost, I almost walked right in the water. You see that? Yes, this is crazy. So they have a basketball hoop. I saw this online. The entrance is right there if you wanted to walk in it. What is it? Right here if you want to go in there. Oh, okay. Do they got basketballs? I'm sure they do this is too cool. Oh, just the one. But it's just the. Yeah. Run around and get exercise, basically. Right. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Oh, yes. And here is a, uh, what do they call this? Like a wheelchair, like wheelchair lift. To put them in, to lift people into the pool. Yeah. I'm not really sure how it works because I've never really used it, but I know that it, I imagine that there's a way to get them. I would assume you might have to ask somebody to help yeah, you. Yeah, I I'm would. Sure it's like a, There's probably like a motor probably that you have a to. Key or something that they use right. if you need it to go down into the water. Yeah. But that's awesome that they have that for the people that, that is, can't go down the stairs or if they they can't walk or. Right. Yeah, I see a button down here. That's probably yeah, how probably, it. They probably. Yeah, probably you probably have to ask them to do it. But man, that is that is too cool. Yeah, they got loungers here. Man, these are nice too. You can really stretch out. Yeah. They look chairs. durable where they can hold my big butt. Lounge chairs with tables and then also big tables with chairs and umbrellas. Yeah, real nice. Beautiful palm trees. What is it? What's the deepest? Three feet. Eight, four feet. Oh, four feet. Yeah, deepest is four feet. We'll probably get in here later. Yeah. <laughs> it's too cool. I get that fire pit, so. I love this place. Yeah, I do too. And I like that it's not in the middle of all the hustle and bustle of all the theme parks. I mean, there's three major theme parks around us, Universal, SeaWorld, and Disney World, and it doesn't feel like we're anywhere near any of them. Like, I feel like we're on a, our own, like, island somewhere out in the... Because, I mean, literally when you look around, all you see is palm trees and, yeah. like... It feels like we're on a... It feels uh, like our own resort-like area, which is really nice. Peaceful. 
And it's nice that there's lots of places that you can come and sit and just relax in the middle, of, you know, like later in the day or when you come back to your room or in the evening when the parks are closed. Yeah. And it's, I don't know, it's really nice. I like it. Yeah, it's great. Beautiful. Just found the gym in here. A room we will not use, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might. Look. But it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Here. They it got ellipticals. Those treadmills. Treadmill. <laughs> Whatever that thing is. Is that a water thing right there? That's what it looks like. I'm not really sure, honestly. I don't know what yeah. it is. Oh, yeah. See the cones? They got the cone oh, cups. Yeah. Yeah. They got little towels where you can uh, wipe the stuff down. Oh, oh the there I am. <laughs> the oh, no, those are uh, throw weights. Are they? Yeah. Oh. Pretty sure. Yeah, 10 pounds. Yeah. But they got free weights too. This is too cool, guys. And it is ice cold in here. On to the next room, right next to the workout room, we have the laundry room. This is awesome. Oh, so, oh, you gotta use quarters though. You can't use your card. All right, all right. I wish I'd have known that. I'd have brought some quarters. So, yeah, if you're coming to Homewood Suites off International Drive, make sure you bring quarters for laundry. Because <laughs> we will definitely need quarters. They'll probably give us quarters at the front desk. So, it's pretty awesome, though. We're definitely going to use this at least once. Yeah, it says you can get the laundry supplies because they have them in that shop up there. Oh, yeah, the Tide and that. Yeah, I showed that. And you get ice? Okay, moving on. One thing that I absolutely love about this place is the air conditioning. It is cool everywhere. Everywhere. So it's really hard to see how It tells you right there what floor that elevator is. Yeah, but aren't we on the first floor? Yeah. wonder why that says two then. Because it's like Disney where the first floor is really not the first floor. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and again, guys. Uh, there's two elevators. There is uh, elevators like, I don't know, they seem kind of scattered out all over the place. Yeah, they're all around. It yeah. probably depends on which part you're staying at. I think this place has um, two types of rooms or three types of rooms. They have regular, just like bedroom, living room, or bedroom, bathroom yeah. places. And then they have like one bedrooms where they have like a separate living room and then I think they have a two bedroom one where there's two bedrooms in a separate living room. Yeah. So it's crazy. Yeah. Big rooms for whatever kind of family size you need. Yeah. Where do you see a room? It's amazing. That's next. <laughs> okay, so we got a nice little table here, a couple breakfast table. couple chairs. chairs. Got this little guy hanging out. Let me give you a little view this is the like the living room area We've got a tv one set chest of drawers here uh, awesome lighting in here too i do like this and uh the thermos the thermostat there's two of them so we have a bedroom here we have a living room here and what's really awesome about this is uh this is a pull out, pull and, out bed. yeah pull out bed and then you got this thing to pull out into like more seating and this can be a table and this is yeah. just a chair uh this light has plugs and usb plugs if you want to plug in things uh-huh uh, all so kinds of cool. usbs like it's cool that they have the dresser in here too like there's the extra pillows and stuff for if you have extra people staying in here they have a place to put their stuff plus a big tv sorry guys i'm like in awe of this place it is absolutely fantastic I mean, it is huge, absolutely Here's huge. The bedroom. Yes, big king size bed. The bed feels bed. fantastic. Side tables. And they got another drawer with a yeah, big TV same, there. Same size chest of drawers. Um, another big TV. Lights on each side of the headboard for like if you're just sitting here reading or doing whatever. Plugs on each side. Look at the headboard too. Yeah. That's like solid wood. Then they have a desk area here if you need to do work things. Yeah. Like if anybody needs to edit videos, that's a good spot. Of course, I'll probably do that in there so I'm not bothering you while you're trying to sleep. Okay. <laughs> like my microphone? Hello. 
<laughs> I may need to get I may need to get like a double uh, microphone here because I have to keep moving it around and stuff. It's up there, hangers, hang your stuff, a luggage rack. There is an ironing board and an iron back in there. And there's a safe there if you need to use the safe, which is cool. Yeah. And we got the big sink nice and kitchen vanity here. Vanity here. Sink and mirror here. Which I like that it's separate from the bathroom. Hello. <laughs> I like that it's separate from the toilet area. Oh, yeah. Like the toilet area is here. So, like, if you're getting ready in the morning and someone's in the bathroom, you can still get ready without having, you know, the toilet there and then the shower's there. Which is good. Pretty big. This is a nice toilet, too. I know, you know, I've, we watch a lot of YouTube videos. And one of the things that they've been pointing out that we've always pointed out is a lot of these toilets that they have in hotels are really high off the ground and this one you know it's it's nice it's smaller than some still a little high off the ground but that's okay we'll manage <laughs> nice shower head nice glass shower walk-in shower now here is something if you know talking about ex accessibility i don't know um you know obviously i don't you wouldn't be able to fit a wheelchair in here so i don't know if they have wheelchair accessible rooms but that's something that you might want to ask yeah jess is saying uh they probably they probably do hold on what'd you say i was saying with them having the accessible chair and like everything else is basically accessible with the buttons and all that stuff i can't imagine that they wouldn't have a room that you can roll into the shower right. you know not have that lip there so i'm sure there are accessible rooms i i wouldn't doubt it yeah yeah but all in all it looks beautiful the paint job is amazing everything like even from the curtains like there's a ceiling fan in here yeah Who a ceiling, ceiling fan in hotel, hotel rooms? rooms right and then i like that the, there's a door there's a door here between the bedroom and the living room so like if I'm asleep in the morning and he wakes up early. He can go out there and watch TV and not feel like he's waking me up or any of that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> or if you have other people sleeping out here. One thing I, one thing I really like too here is that there's two, there's two air conditioners. So if somebody's cold or if you have somebody in your family, cause you could see, you could easily sleep four people here easily. Oh yeah, for sure. Because you have a pull-out bed here, you have the main bed here, and but what's nice is that you know you always have those people that like it a lot warmer. We like it cold, so it's like you know you can control the temperature in your room, and I really like that. And that's very it clever. It's nice too that like if you have babies or younger kids that are in like pack and plays or things like that, there's still plenty of room with all this furniture that you could put that in there if you needed to. Yeah, so this place, I feel like it's a lot bigger than the camera shows. Oh yeah, it's, it's huge. And one last thing here. Let's have a look. Not to, you know, you get a good view of another hotel resort over like there. Condos. It might be, I don't know. Like homes. But I don't know, who cares? Yeah. We don't need to look at anything awesome. Well, and like you were saying, you know, we kind of feel... It makes you feel exclu exclusive. Or right. We're like not just vacationing to theme yeah. parks. We're... You're pushed more away Relaxed from here. You know, it's very relaxed. Like you can go to your theme park stuff and still come back here and feel like you're in two totally separate areas. That's right. what's really cool about Florida sometimes. Is yeah. That it's like Disney's right over there. But if you don't know it's right over there, you don't know it's right over there. It's not obvious that it's right there. You know? Right. Disney is 10 minutes that way. 10 minutes. Universal's 10 minutes that way. So, uh, I don't know. Depending on what Disney park you're going to, I guess. But, yeah, all around 10 to 15 minutes. Pretty nice. Well, guys, just wanted to put a quick video together of our hotel. This is what we were raving about on the live show and everything. We hope we're going to be able to do some live tonight. I don't know. We got family coming in, so it might be kind of tough. If not... We'll do whatever. Maybe you'll see us. Yeah. Maybe you won't. Yeah. Maybe you will. <laughs> if not, um, so you'll be seeing this video tomorrow. So no, wait we, a minute. Did we do a live or didn't we do it? Wait a minute. No, this video ain't going to come out till like Monday. Well. <laughs> so, it, <laughs> well, we are going to be doing... <laughs> 
Ooh, we're gonna be doing kidding. we're gonna be doing some random lives throughout. <laughs> You're all sweaty and gross. I know. I need a <laughs> shower. It's hot out. It is like a hundred degrees out here. But uh, yeah, family's here. Uh, we were able to get their room next door to ours. Well, I don't know if it's next door because they have a. I don't know what type of room. They're close. It's close. Yeah, close to where we can yell and they can probably hear us. Maybe so. So. Yeah, with all that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you loved the hotel tour. This place is awesome. I would recommend it to anybody. Yeah, it's uh, great. And, you know, later on, we'll go over some of the prices that we did. We did book this place uh, a while in advance. Yeah. So, um, But anyway, we got to get going. Thank you so much for watching the video. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.